Today's video is the battle between two of the largest non-folding phones around. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max versus the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. To start off this video, these phones are pretty expensive with the iPhone 12 Pro Max starting at $1099 and the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra at the time of the release was a bit more expensive at $12.99. Let's take a quick break from the video to talk about today's sponsor, Upsy. I'm not kidding anyone here. These phones are extremely expensive, but if you happen to break one of your screens, they cost hundreds to repair. Of course, there are other warranties on the market, but Upsy is actually shaking up the game with a couple cool things that they do. Number one, if you have an Apple device, you can take it directly to the Genius Bar and get your phone repaired from Apple experts. And it's actually cheaper than Apple Care's warranty as well. Now with AppleCare, you have only 60 days to purchase the warranty. Upsy doubles that at 120 days after the purchase where you can get your warranty. Anyways guys, a big thanks to Upsy for sponsoring this portion of the video. Use code TECHNINJA for 10% off when you sign up. First, we gotta start with the biggest feature and that one has to be the screen. The Note 20 Ultra has a massive 6.9 inch display and the iPhone 12 Pro Max display is a little bit smaller at 6.7 inches. Now both screens are OLED with HDR and they're super bright. You know, Samsung is using HDR 10 plus where the iPhone is using Dolby Vision. When looking at HDR photos on the iPhone, you can really see the difference where on the Note 20 HDR photos don't take full advantage of the screen. They look good, but HDR just doesn't kick in at that point. However, when watching HDR content, both screens look very similar. I can't say which screen looks better overall, but what I do like to see is that the Note does allow you to adjust the color profile so you can customize the Note's display to look exactly how you want it overall. The iPhone has True Tone display which adjusts the, the color depending on where you're at in the environment, the ambient light in the environment. But the Note 20 also has one more thing that the iPhone doesn't have and that is the high refresh screen. And basically what that means is scrolling and overall movement is just much more smooth. It's hard to show on video and some people can't see the difference. However, I can and it's a big deal to me. So overall, the Note just has a better display. The iPhone's overall design has had a very nice upgrade. I really dig how it looks. However, compared to the Note 20, the iPhone bezels are still bigger and it also has a notch. The squared off edges also makes it a bit chunkier to hold. The Note 20 is very top heavy with the camera cluster and it sticks out a ton. And it just makes the Note 20 not too great to hold either, but visually the Note 20 Ultra is still impressive and actually one of the most impressive phones to look at. When we come down to performance, I say these two phones that are at the top of the class. You know, both phones are a powerhouse Apple does it with software and the A14 chip. The Note 20 has a Snapdragon 865 Plus processor and 12 gigabytes of RAM, which is double of what Apple has. But no matter how they do it, at the end of the day, both of these phones are just as fast as each other. Sure, Apple OS runs smoother than Android, so when you compare it that way, you'll say that the iPhone's faster. But when opening apps and multitasking and doing things like that, you will see that this phone is indeed faster. The Note 20 also has the S Pen, which takes the, the multitasking productivity up to the next level. Now for me, the S Pen is not a big selling point, but there are people I know that love the S Pen and you know, they live and die by the S Pen. I do feel everything with the S Pen I could do with my finger, but yeah, there's another way to use the phone and that's gonna be an advantage for those specific people. Okay, now we're on to the camera, a big focus for both devices and pretty much any flagship phone coming out. I will say when it comes to features, the Note 20 has the iPhone beat. The Note 20 has a dedicated laser autofocus, 5X optical zoom and up to 50X digital zoom, ultra steady shot, picture in picture mode and a lot more. Overall, there's so much more you can do with this camera. The iPhone isn't a slouch neither, giving you uh, the 2.5x optical zoom, wide angle and ultra wide angle, but in most scenarios, I like the image that comes out of the iPhone better. Its balance is detailed and it's realistic. 
Video is really good on the iPhone too, but the Note 20 is very good as well. I can't decide which video mode I like more, so I'll need you to decide. When I do comparison shots, I'll do a comparison between camera A and camera B, and in the comments, I want you to guess which one is which. The front-facing camera initially on the Note seems like it has more detail. It finds all these little hairs and freckles on my face, but in the process of taking this image, it lightens my skin just like other Samsung phones. And for me, that's a non-starter. When taking a closer look, you quickly see that details on the iPhone keeps up when zooming in, but the Note seems to fall apart. The iPhone just has a better front-facing camera, no other way to put it. The iPhone Pro Max big selling point was night mode. However, when comparing the two, I didn't find it to be much better than the Note 20s. Actually, on some of these pictures, like this one or this tree, I like the Note's image better. I think the Note looks more realistic at night, where the iPhone tries to make the image much brighter, the Note 20 Ultra just gets it right. I will say one big advantage the iPhone has is that it only took two seconds to take this photo, where on the Note, it took five seconds, and some shots can take up to seven seconds. So if you want pictures of people at night or anything moving, the iPhone will be your only option and the best option. I tested night mode on all three lenses and I found that the best results were from the main camera on both phones. Ultra wide was pretty soft on both cameras, but the iPhone was just a tad bit sharper. Okay, so if you didn't guess by now looking at these camera samples, camera A was Note 20 and camera B was the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Do you feel any different about the results after knowing which one is which? So let's head over to design. You know, I feel that the Note 20 Ultra just feels like a newer phone. There's nothing like its design at all. These tiny bezels, this little hole punch, I think it just looks really great. And the high refresh rate just makes it more fun to use. Of course, it you know just depends on the ecosystem you're in, but I think if you don't care about ecosystem, overall the Note 20 Ultra's battery life, its features, its design, it just makes this phone a joy to use. The iPhone is an iPhone. You know what to expect when you use it. You do have better app support, there are more apps, and the build quality is a lot better than what we've seen before. And also the screen doesn't crack if you drop it, which is really, really nice to see. And when you consider those things, this iPhone is better than the previous iPhone by a decent margin. You know, as a content creator, there are so many apps I use that are iOS only, and using a Mac and having this integration is huge for me, so I, by default, lean Apple although I do enjoy Android more day to day. I do think with the Note 20 Ultra, you can do more, and this is the type of phone that can replace a computer. You can do all things that are like really advanced for a phone, and also you can multitask a lot better. More apps work picture in picture, and the S Pen allows you to sign and write things and mark up documents. I mean, it is a portable computer. Whereas the iPhone is trying to get there, but still ends up getting handcuffed. So for most people, I would say the iPhone is the best phone for them. But for that power hungry user or that person who really doesn't care about the ecosystem, then the Note 20 Ultra is a really, really great choice. Anyways, guys, those were my thoughts. I wanna hear yours. Sound off down below. Kevin the Tech Ninja, have a great day. I'll let you guys later.